Over the last few weeks, there have been multiple incidents of marijuana producers falling out of compliance with the Cannabis Control Board standards. Just last week, the Cannabis Control Board halted further sales of all mar marijuana produced by, gro by a grower called Holland Cannabis after someone reported becoming sick after consuming it. And just a few days later, we learned that neighbors' complaints led to Hyde Park producer Green River Cannabis getting a $5,000 fine for violations involving record keeping, product packaging, and fungicide. We asked the board about what approach they're taking with growers found out of compliance. We have five categories of violations and they uh, they range in sort of decreasing severity, category one being the most severe. And for a category one violation, there is the potential for up to $20,000 uh, in administrative fines. Uh, for a category five, potential for up to $2,500. We're really trying to do an education first approach with uh, with our licensees. There's a long history of government really cracking down mm -hmm. on folks involved in the legacy market. So we're really trying to build uh, build trust and work with people to to bring them back up to to compliance. The Cannabis Control Board says that since the cannabis market is so new, they want the focus to be on collaboration instead of cracking down on producers. Green River Cannabis has already had their fines reduced to $2,500, and if they stay in compliance of the plan they made with the board, their fine could be wiped away altogether.